It's super amazing. <laughs> this is just so easy. <laughs> and it actually works. Let's do it. Today we're gonna have some fun with inkjet transparencies. <laughs> but instead of using them as usual, we're gonna use them with a twist. And I think you'll be so surprised to see what we can do with these. Okay, but if you don't have inkjet transparencies, don't go away, stick around, because I'll show you a way to do it with regular printer paper, like this. So let's start now. So what else do you need other than the transparency? Uh, nothing, you don't need anything. I know what you're thinking. You can't transfer images with nothing. You need some sort of medium. Honestly, I can't make it any easier for you. Yeah, so all you need today is to have an inkjet printer and you're set, you're all set to go. Yeah, so let's start now. Let's see how this image transfer works. Okay, so first we need to print our photo onto a clear inkjet transparency. And we need to make sure we're printing a reverse image onto the correct side. Most uh, transparencies have a shiny side and a rough side. The rough side is the correct side to print on. Here are a couple of good inkjet transparencies you can print on. And make sure they are suitable for inkjet printing. You can find inkjet transparencies in most office supply stores. But like I mentioned before, if you don't have them, stick around. I'm going to show you how to use a standard printer paper instead. Before you print your photo, make sure to set your printer to transparencies and the quality to best. Looks pretty good. So now we can transfer our photo to different surfaces and it works best on textured or smooth paper. And if you transfer to these papers, you can make nice greeting cards, images for your artwork and gifts. You can also transfer to wood and I will show you soon how it's done. And finally, you can transfer directly into your journal like I've done here. Okay, so now we are going to transfer this photo, which is printed on an inkjet transparency, onto this nice watercolor paper. And by the way, it's a good idea to keep a little border around the photo. So yeah, now all we need to transfer our photo is water. <laughs> That's all we need. I know it's weird, but it actually works. So I guess water is our transfer medium. And we're going to spray some on our receiving surface. And I like to use a brush to spread it evenly on the paper. I know you can't really see it, but you need to make sure the surface is quite wet. And now take the photo and carefully place it face down onto the wet surface. You can use an old card to press it down, but don't wait too long or the transparency will stick to the paper. So now it's time to remove the transparency and pray that the transfer worked. You can see at the bottom that the paper is being pulled by the transparency. So I probably waited a little too long. But that's okay, I actually like it this way. Okay, as promised, we're now going to do the same process, but on wood. And make sure you don't miss the part about using a regular printer paper because it creates such a beautiful effect. Next, let's see if transferring with water will work on wood. What do you think? I think it will work. We won't know until we try it. So let's give it a try. I'm going to transfer to this craft wood and I think it will work best if I keep it as is and don't prime it. And like I did before, I apply enough water to the surface of the wood. And if you like this process, there are many more in my book. So make sure you get it. It's available on Amazon. And I do apologize for the abrupt self-promotion break. Okay, so like I did before, I spread the water evenly on the surface. And again, I place the photo face down onto the wet wood surface. When we transfer to wood, it's okay to take it slower since the transparency doesn't stick to the wood the same way it did to the paper. Now 
Nice, I really like this grungy transfer. <laughs> and here is another water transfer to wood I made with just text. I think the black ink is easier to transfer. Okay, so what happens if you don't have a transparency? And you don't know where to get one or you don't have time to get one. Well, you can actually transfer the same way from a regular printer paper. The only difference is that it's not going to be as clear as when you transfer from a transparency. But I actually like this effect. Let's see how it works. Okay, so this time I printed my photos on standard printer paper. I'm sure you have that one at home. If you don't, then you probably don't even have a printer. <laughs> I'm going to transfer my photo to this glossy paper. I think it will create a really cool effect. I just realized I didn't apply enough water. But don't worry, when you work with a standard copy paper, you can spray the back of the photo instead of the surface. And even apply the water with a brush. Here I use the paper towel to dab and press down the back of the print to help the ink transfer to the surface. And yeah, I applied more water. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe. I make these kind of videos every week and you don't want to miss one. I have to say I really like this type of soft transfer. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite one today. And I think in order to protect it, I will spray it with a UV spray or spray fixative. How easy was it to do it, right? <laughs> I don't know how I get all these ideas. Transferences, if I can pronounce it correctly. So yeah, let's start now. Let's start this image transfer. <laughs> now we're not going to twist them. So don't worry, don't go away. <laughs> Stick around. So yeah, now uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.